Hey hi all in this video we will discuss about one of the interview questions so like what will happen if we have six methods it can be a number of methods it can be single method but in in the developer edition we can we cannot create much of any data that's the reason we have taken six methods and every method is querying around 10 10000 uh, records and they are all running in a single transaction or they are all a part of a single uh, class the all the methods are part of a single class and they are running in a single transaction so what will happen either the transaction will succeed or there will be any governance limit which will hit so let's start so first of all for an example we will have we will have a class and in that class we will have different methods So in this methods we will have a query like select rd from account and the limit of this particular query will be 10k this type of methods we will have six methods so we will be trying to query 60000 records each method will have 10k records so whether it will succeed or not we will just try it in the org and we will let know what happens and now we are in the developer console so i will just go to class and we'll create a new class stating that limit check for an example Oh, duplicate value. Check of rows. So there will be a class created. In this particular class, we will have a method started word method. one and in this particular method in this particular method we will have list of account which will be select id from account And we will limit it ten k. Then we will debug this system dot debug. Control V, and then we will check. Plus this the size of this particular list that is easy. <coughs> Sorry, I will save this. So now we will go to execute. We will remove all this. There will be a new class that is limit check rows. dot there is a method in this class that is method 1 we will call that method and then we will execute this and once we executed it we can see there is there are 10000 record oh uh, sorry 10000 is the limit of that uh, the size of that particular list if we scroll down we will check in this if you see limit usage Number of query rows ten thousand out of fifty thousand rows. Okay, so in the same manner, what we will do now, we will copy this particular method. We will just paste it, paste it, paste it, and we will change the name. So, for example, it will be second method. It will be a third method. It will be a fourth method. In the same manner. We will just copy this. We will change the design. Now 
now I'm saving the class and again I will go to this debug open it copy this paste it paste it paste it now we have to give the names like second method will execute third method will execute and fourth method will execute if I hit on execute so as you can see we have a debug log created for it so that the debug logs for method one is querying 10,000 10,000 so it is 40,000 records are executed and if we go to the limits it says that 40,000 out of 50,000 records and it is very close to the limit so if we add one more method stating that okay just copy it and then paste it and change the name of the method that is fifth method it will be fifth method. now we'll again go to this window again copy it paste it fifth method execute that and now as you can see we have almost touched it so like there are five transactions and five method and five methods we are querying 10,000 records in each method so it is now 50k records which we have queried and if you go to the limits it's say 50,000 out of 50,000 if we go about that stating or okay, fine we will create another method let's say the sixth method and we try to get one more record so now in this case what will happen either it will execute it will show an error what will happen so let's check it out and copy it Six so method number six. So too many SOQL rows or too many query rows. So if I go to the debug log of that, it shows an error. If I open it, this particular debug log, and if I go to debug only, so as you can see, up to number five method, there are ten thousand records and if you see there are the limit has been exhausted it is 50k and we have 50,000 plus one records so it is very close to limit the limit has been reached so if you see on up to this we are getting the debugs after that in the sixth method when it is trying to query one more record it is saying that too many query rows that is five zero 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 one okay so you cannot you cannot query or you cannot retrieve more than 50,000 50, 50k records in a single transaction either it can be using different methods or in a single method if you are querying more than 50k it will throw an error so for an example if we try to make it 50,000 if I save it and we this time we will run only two methods that is one and two so I will remove this all or you can highlight this two and you can execute highlighted so all the records that has been executed is this number of records which has been executed <coughs> So number of queries, uh, the rows which are been tracked, that is 26,000. As we don't have this much data in the org, that's the reason. We have only around, for an example, if I go to the org, how many accounts we have. So for an example, if I go to this, if I remove it, now I will go to, and if you see, we have only one six uh, sixteen thousand sixteen thousand four hundred sixty five records and in this limit what we got so we got sixteen thousand 
465 plus 10,000 is this record. That's the reason we have changed the limit to 50,000. Then also it is not exhausted. If we have 50,000 records, then these two methods will not will not be able to execute because we will because the limit will be exhausted uh, to to get or to retrieve the 50,000 records. So we have only 16,465 records. That's the reason this is not failing when we are running two uh, when we are running only two methods in it. Okay. So that's all. So if there is a question regarding that, uh, we have two methods, and in one method we are querying 30k records. In the second method we are querying, uh, suppose, 21k records. So what will happen in that case? There will be the same error. If it is in a single method, then also it will be the same error. It, it just we have to be aware of uh, aware of like it, if it is a single transaction or not. If it's a single transaction, then only 50,000 records can be retrieved either by using multiple methods or a single method. So thank you.